Hi guys, these are the African Violet cuttings that I got. <laughs> They're not cuttings, I ripped them off the plant. That I got from my friend's African Violets. And they've literally been sitting in this mug since I got them. And I need to pot them up properly. Let me take them out. Actually, let me show them to you. There we go. This is one of them. I don't know if you guys can see, it's pink. In the center right here, it's got a little pink. So, and then it's light green. So that's going to be a really nice one, I think. And it's got the pink stem. So. And then I thought these two were the exact same, but the leaves are different. So I'm not too sure. Maybe I got an older leaf. Apparently there's a science. <laughs> there's a method. There's Apparently there's a method on which leaves you're supposed to take. So I'm not too sure if I got an old leaf or a new leaf, but this one is a much darker green. And yeah, this is a darker green. It's definitely fuzzy. <laughs> They're so weird. I don't know why. <laughs> but I guess I've gotten over my fear of African violets because I'm touching it. <laughs> and I have it in my house. <laughs> Just And there's this guy. Now that I see this guy looks like... Look at that. Someone must have gotten to him at some point. Yeah. So, they've been sitting in the water and I keep becoming afraid that they're going to fall into the water. And they're not in a lot of water. Just enough. Keep them from drying out. But, it's been a few days and I need to start doing something with them. So, I got these containers. And I'm going to try to... See if I can grow them hydroponically. So I'm going to fill it up with my ceramas and Lekka beads. And I'm going to pop them in here. Fill up the water reservoir and see what happens. And hopefully I get roots. And then if I get roots, I'll get little leaves. So let's see. I've been watching a lot of Rick L's videos. And he has an impressive African, <laughs> African violet collection. And then... Since I got these cuttings, I started watching Fifi's channel and she grows African violets and she propagates them and she does a great job. So I learned a lot from her. And so what I learned is, according to Fifi, the new um, roots and stuff will start sprouting about half an inch from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is make a fresh cut for this guy and then you should do an angle cut and the angle cut should be in the direction of the fuzzy leaf. So let's see, hopefully my knife is nice and sharp. So I got that. Just like that. Can you guys see? Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, so I did a nice angle cut right there on this guy. So that's one down. <laughs> I'm going to do this guy next. So, just nice horizontal. It also has the largest surface for it to um, absorb water. There you go. See? Nice angle in the direction of the fuzzy leaf. And this guy, his stem's not nearly as long as the others. So, but he still has enough that he should still, I didn't like that cut. Let me see if I make a nicer one. There we go. It's still enough. It's not as angled as the other ones, but slightly angled. Might do. Let me shave off a little bit more from the top. Just a little bit. There we go. That's better. Yeah. So, so according to Fifi, she gets her growth about half an inch from the bottom up to so within the half inch range this guy should start growing so I gotta keep that in mind when I stick him in especially this guy this guy doesn't have a lot of doesn't have a large stem oh and the stem has an actual name I forgot what it's called so there's a P Perolio? Peroli <laughs> whatever it is I'll put it on the screen but yeah there's the stem actually has an actual name it's not called a stem it has a different name to it so these are the three 
and they're gonna go all go in here and I got three different containers because it's what I have right now <laughs> the fanciest one we'll see who gets that on her so I have all my clean like up beads and ceramics I use a little hydrotone pebbles fancy one first yeah so apparently they're hard to grow I don't know why I've never I'm not a big fan so if these guys grow and take and stuff I'll give them away research on these guys but let's see I'm gonna place this guy somewhere around here I'm gonna put him towards the outer side because I learned that from Fifi because the new growths would grow out this way and they need room to grow out and this one's got a narrow base I think I'm gonna use a smaller guy this guy yeah you'll go in here so I'll put him in here and then once I'm done potting him I will water these guys Make sure he's nice and stable inside. Yep, make sure he's nice and stable. Stick him in a little bit. There we go. Something like that. I think that's good. So, I think this guy's good. I got him in there. Now I'm going to do the other two, and then I'm going to water them. See how these are nice and upright. I don't know if this one's floppy because it's bigger or it's a larger leaf or because it's a floppy type of African violet or I'm not too sure. I feel like the leaf should still be perky. He bends down or maybe it's too heavy under his weight. But we'll see. Some people put a little bag over them to maintain humidity or they stick them in a bag to maintain humidity. I'm going to put these I think on my top of my humidity tray. And right now I'm gonna go get some water and fill these. Actually, I'm gonna take them to the sink and I'm gonna fill them up and I'll be right back. So that's it. I water them. I have to keep, I'm gonna keep the reservoir full on these guys. I'm gonna stick them on my humidity tray. And if I see that they start to droop down or so, then maybe I'll do the bag method. I'll put them inside a plastic bag to keep more humidity up. And about a month or so they should start rooting is what I saw is the average it's about a month for them to start developing roots and then another month for leaves is what I've read so far but we'll see and I have to keep it wet because if the ceramics dries out ceramics like it dries out and the reservoir dries out then I'm basically trying to grow <laughs> I'm basically trying to grow African violets in air with nothing with no moisture or anything and that's just um that's like a little too extreme. I don't think that's gonna, that's not very realistic. But yeah, so hopefully these take, they don't die on me. Especially this one, I kind of like this guy, especially if he gets pinker in the center. So 
yeah, I hope they don't ban me. If they die. I'll document that too, I guess. I'll let you guys know. So we'll check back on these guys in a few weeks to see how they're doing, see if they're progressing, see if they're putting in roots. And so far, I just gave them plain tap water. New York City tap water is what they're getting right now. And they'll probably get watered when I water my... We'll probably get watered when I water the orchids. And I'm going to try to make an effort to make sure these do not dry out. Yeah, they should take. They should take. It's hydroponics. There's no reason for it. I just got to make sure that once they get roots and things, I give them nutrients. Right now, I'm not going to give any fertilizer since they have no roots. I think they just need to maintain... Actually, they're still waking water. But I think right now... We'll see. And if these guys die, I have a supply of endless <laughs> African violet leaves until my friend runs out of leaves. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>